the times when I would retest somebody for the same abnormality is really in two settings. One is in the acquired resistance setting. So there you're looking at EGFR and you know they have a mutation, you put them on a lot and then they progress. You would resequence the EGFR because now you're looking for a second mutation for T790M. The other reason you might do it is if they're not behaving as they should. So we all expect patients with an EGFR mutation to respond to an EGFR TKI. We all expect patients with an out gene rearrangement to respond to crisotinib. But if they don't, if you put somebody on these treatments and they completely blow through it, as if the cancer hasn't read the label it's supposed to have attached to it, we have to recognize that this is the real world and people's specimens get mixed up or people will make the call inappropriately. So I have cases who have been called ALK positive and I have re-biopsied them and they're ALK negative. Now, did the cancer change or was the first diagnosis absolutely wrong? If the patient didn't respond to crizotinib at all, there's a possibility as the diagnosis was wrong. So if the cancer isn't behaving as you expect, re-biopsy and re-analyze because mistakes happen.